How's it guys? Today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the new Hunter Node BT. Let's jump straight into opening the box and taking a look at the contents. Of course we've got the obligatory instruction manual. If you're one of the guys, probably don't need that. The Hunter Node BT itself. And we have a few additional accessories over here. Let's take a look at the accessories that the um, Hunter Node BT comes with. This over here <coughs> can be used to attach to the, the, the solenoid itself um, for mounting inside of a valve box. Put that around the wires, over the solenoid, and that comfortably sits over there. That, um, that keeps your valve well above the ground, um, dry and more secure. Also easy access for, for maintenance, so you don't have to go digging into the bottom of the valve box. Over here, this is a new addition to the, um, the node family. This is a wall mounting bracket. Um, You'll see there it's got four screw holes so that can be mounted onto a wall and then a node attached to that. Right, let's take a closer look at the Hunter node now and the valve. Here we have the rubber cover, which is what we've come to expect on all the, all the Hunter Node products. That just keeps the, the buttons clean and free of dust and, and water. And if we unscrew the back, Yeah, we found a, a new configuration from, from Hunter. At this stage, not sure if I really like it. Um, the back cap has got two parts. Um, I just feel like this is more of an opportunity for dirt to get in, water to get in. Uh, I think I prefer the cap that had a that came in a single part. Um, like previous Hunter nodes, um, we've got space for two two nine volt batteries. Um, I do think that this configuration is better because often the clips on the old Hunter nodes used to break off. So I think this is definitely an improvement. Um, right, let's stick a, a battery in. Um, it's got the capability of taking two batteries, but all that's really doing for you is extending the longevity um, between battery changes. So for demonstration purposes now, I'm going to only put in one battery and then let's um, take a look at what it can do. Put that cover on firmly and then screw on the back. By screwing on the back, it actually locks the battery into place. And then let's see if we've got, yep, yeah, we've got power there. So that's all linked up. Let's try and link this up to the cell phone, um, cell phone app now. And then we'll have a look at some more of the features. 
Right, now we're going to download the Hunter Node Bluetooth app. Head on to your Play Store. Search for Hunter BT. Click on the Hunter Node BT option and then install. Once the app is downloaded, um, it'll ask you a couple of permissions. Um, I recommend using allow um, Hunter to um, access your location only when using the app, otherwise it's going to drain the power of your phone. And then immediately start scanning for any um, Hunter nodes in the area. Um, it's already discovered one. And then you can connect to it. Before we jump into the features of the app, I'd like to point out one new addition on this Hunter Bluetooth node that was previously not seen in the old node. If you're familiar with the old nodes, you will have noticed there's always been this yellow wire. That's, that's been used to attach to a rain sensor. That's fantastic. But in addition to um, the rain sensor, they now have these gray wires over here, which can now be attached to a swell sensor. This is especially useful for situations like when you've got a green wall. Green walls are notoriously difficult to give the right, correct amount of water to. Um, they're either too wet or they're too dry. This takes the guesswork out of um, watering a green wall. If it's too wet, the soil sensor is going to prevent the green wall from being watered. I think this is a fantastic new addition to the Hunter Node series. Well done, Hunter. Right. Let's connect to our node now and see what some of the features the app has to offer. We're scanning for any nearby nodes um, and has already found my node. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit connect. You'll see the LEDs flashing there, um, indicating that it's connecting to the phone. And there we have a connection. Fantastic.